Good morning, everybody. It looks like we're live on Facebook right now. Um, and I just wanted to uh, wish you all a good morning and hopefully you're all well um, and you know, enduring this, uh, this, this challenging time of uh, you know, sheltering at home. And you know, just wanted to, uh, to thank the United Way. Uh, my name is Billy Piskitz and I'm the executive director of the Palace Theater in downtown Albany. And uh, they've asked me to actually uh, read one of my favorite books this morning, which is Rainbow Foot Fish and the Sea Monsters Cave. Um, we are so proud to partner with the United Way on the Community COVID Relief Fund um, and use our iconic uh, marquee at the Palace Theater to recognize um, any donor of $100 or more from now until um, our community day of 518, uh, so May 18th. Um, we're really excited about this opportunity and, and grateful for all your generosity to our community. Um, we're working hard behind the scenes at the Palace Theater um, and uh, you, you know, looking forward to that day where we can welcome you all back for whether it be a Sesame Street Live performance or one of our education performances or your parents back for, uh, for one of our concerts or a comedy show. Um, our team at the Palace Theater is, is, is working really hard behind the scenes to make that happen. And we're looking forward to that day where we all get to come back together and, uh, you, you know, and celebrate the, the, the great artists that come to downtown Albany and the beautiful historic Palace Theater. So um, it is my privilege to be with you guys this morning. And uh, without further ado, I'll get started on one of my favorite books. This is a book um, by Marcus, F Marcus Fister. Um, I used to read this book to my kids who uh, I've got one going off to college in, in, uh, at the end of the summer here and uh, one going into seventh grade. So I don't often get to, to sit back and read with them as much as I, I would like. Um, so you know, this brings me back to some really, really good memories when they were a little bit younger and uh, um, you know, some really good times just before bedtime. So um, happy to, to do that for you guys today. and. Uh, Hopefully you enjoy. So let's get started. Rainbow Fish and the Sea Monsters Cave by Marcus Fister. Help, come quick, the little blue fish was alarmed. His friends were there in a minute. What is it? What's wrong? Look at the bumpy back fish. He must be sick. He isn't moving and he doesn't answer me. He just groans. Let me through, said the swordfish. She went up to the bumpy backfish. Can you tell me what's wrong? The bumpy backfish moaned. My stomach aches and I feel terrible. You need red algae, said the swordfish. But the only place where, to, where you can get red algae is on the other side of the sea monster's cave, said the little blue fish. I'll go, I'll go declared the rainbow fish. Not sure if you can see some of the pictures there, but they're really cool. The, the illustration in this book is awesome as well. Are you out of your mind, cried the others. It is a dangerous place. It is the most dangerous place in the entire ocean. That's where the rock monsters live and a creature with a thousand arms to catch you and the five-eyed globe fish. Whew. The rainbow fish trembled. He almost changed his mind, but then he looked back at the poor bumpy back fish lying in the sand. Bravely, he said, I'll go anyway. I'll come with you, cried the little blue fish. That made rainbow fish feel a lot better. Quickly, they swam off before they lost their nerve. The sea monster's cave was dark and frightening. The walls were steep and jagged. Swim lower, whispered the rainbow fish. That rock monster has his mouth open to eat us. The cave grew even darker. Suddenly, the little blue fish cried out, help. The thousand armed creature has caught me. Rainbow fish tugged and pulled until his friend slipped out of the monster's slimy arms. That was a close call. Now they were really scared. Rainbow fish looked down. The five eyed globe fish is watching us, he whispered. The little blue fish shivered. Quick, let's get out of here, he said. And they swam as fast as they could until they finally emerged on the other side of the sea monster's cave. There they saw a big clump of red algae. The two friends picked as much as they could carry. 
and they turned to go. The little blue fish hesitated. I can't go back through the cave. I'm too scared. The rainbow fish was scared too, but he said, at least now we know what's in there. And they looked at each other, gathered their courage and swam off. Soon they saw the five-eyed globe fish. There's something funny about those eyes, said the rainbow fish as he swam a little closer. Then Rainbow Fish laughed. That isn't a five-eyed globe fish, he said. That's just the lanterns from five little lantern fish. Why are they why they aren't scary at all? said the little blue fish, giggling with relief. When they reached the creature with a thousand arms, they looked more closely. Seaweed, they all said together and laughed. The rock monsters turned out to be just ordinary rocks. Unafraid, the two fish swam right by them and out of the cave to find their friends. You made it, the other fish cried. Did you see the rock monster? Did anything try to eat you? Well, I'll tell you everything later, answered Rainbow Fish. But first, we have to give this red algae to the bumpy back fish. The bumpy back fish nibbled at the algae and soon he felt better. I don't know how I can thank you. I must have been, it must have been dreadful to have to go through that cave. Well, we were terribly afraid, Rainbow Fish admitted, but when we looked more closely, the monsters disappeared in a fish happily. And the two of them told the story of their journey and the terrifying monsters that weren't really monsters at all. The end. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that book, The Rainbow Fish and the Sea Monsters Cave. Um, what I love about this book is it's about friends helping friends, and that's exactly what we need at this time. And in in you know as we're as we're going through this sheltering in place in this COVID nineteen. So um, once again, you, you know we'd love your support, and uh, you, you know hopefully you can get your name up there on the big Palace Theater marquee with a donation of a hundred dollars or more uh, to the Community Relief Fund there, the COVID Community Relief Fund uh, through the United Way. And uh, I look forward to seeing your name on the marquee and you guys back at the Palace Theater once again. Thanks for spending some time with me this morning and allowing me to spend some time with you. Have a great day. Stay well.